Hi guys, welcome back to Ginger Brew Budgets. I am going to be budgeting $625. $575 is coming directly from my work income and $50 is coming from donating plasma. And I did want to share my weekly quote. I quoted it from Dave's Daily Tips and it reads, Sometimes you have to make sacrifices to win with money. They are a temporary inconvenience to a permanent goal. And I absolutely love that quote just because it kind of proves that all the sacrifices at time, the energy that you're spending towards budgeting is going to get you closer to not just your goal, but you know, you, you learn a lot of things. You learn a lot of qualities that you have about yourself as doing this. So that's what I took from this, from this quote. Let me know what you guys took from this quote. Um, but like I said, I'm going to be budgeting $625. Most of my money is going to go directly towards my bills just because it is the end of the month. So all these highlighted ones are bills that I met um, the goal of what I was intended, intentionally trying to put in there. And so I'm going to be taking those to the bank later this week. And yeah, so majority is going into bills. I'm hoping that next week I can kind of spread my money more evenly just because I do want to build my sinking funds. Um, but let me get my cash ready and we'll just get started with the video. Okay, let's start off with our challenge boxes. I'm doing my $5,000 savings for a new car box first. We are adding a total of $125. Let's grab 125. I know that people have preferences of like the way that they put in their bills. I like putting the bigger bills on the outside. It's just easier to count. All right, 125 goes away. We are at $815 on here. So that's really exciting. Next up is 2023 savings challenge. We are on week 12 of the year, but so far I am on week 10. I am trying to catch up because I did start this challenge a little bit late, but no worries, I'll stuff twice next month to make up for this week. I am doing $31, so 30, I mean 20, 10, and one. Thirty-one, and I do keep track of it. I put what week we are on the back. So we are in week twelve. Like I said, I will be catching up next week. Last savings challenge is gonna be my vacation folio. This one is one that I kind of invented on my own. Um, I actually had someone comment on one of my. On my first video asking if I sell these on Etsy and I did plan on making some stuff like this but I just wasn't sure if I was ready to have it out I wasn't sure if it was gonna reciprocate you know with what people want but I'm glad that someone did so um, just look out for that because I am trying to finalize the pattern for this so I can just reproduce it and you know make a bunch all right, $5 goes in here. My total goal was 200 and I was able to meet it this week. So, so far I have $200. My trip isn't until two weeks, so I'm hoping that I can sneak a little bit more money in there. Um, and then whatever doesn't get used, I'll just roll it over to my next vacation, which is in, in the summer. So, I'm excited. I'm going home for both vacations, but... My older sister just had a baby and I haven't had a chance to meet her. I actually haven't been back home for almost two years, so I'm excited to actually go home. <laughs> All right, next up is my cash envelopes. So these are the ones that I use for my day-to-day -day shopping. And I do have rollover money, so I'll go ahead and take it out. I have some for miscellaneous and groceries. I'm not going to take out the one for giving. I'm just going to continue adding. And it looks like rollover. I have one, two, three, four, five. So what I do with my rollover is I put it in just 
any type of box and I just shove it in there and if I do need to break change or get smaller bills I kind of pull from here or if I need to put some more money in another category I'll just pull it from there but leaving the giving giving is getting four dollars so we'll do one two three four and it has five six so six dollars total All right, giving. Next up is groceries. That is gonna get $40. Next up is dining out. Dining out is gonna get $20. This one's my favorite pattern. Um, my favorite color is yellow and I think this background paper is really cute. Okay, dining out gets 20. Uh, miscellaneous gets 10. Miscellaneous is probably always going to get 10 just because this is kind of my safety net category. So if I fall short on another category, I can always pull from here. All right, gas is getting $20. I'm actually going to go to the gas station right after filming this. All right, my cash envelopes are all done. Next up is going to be my bills. Bills is going to be getting a total of $277. Okay. Bank deposit is currently empty, but like I said, I have a bunch of bills that I need to pay. So I'll go ahead and transfer them once those dates start coming and I'll make another trip to the bank. Electric. Electric is going to get $12. Move this out. Okay. Totaling to 10, 20, 25, 26, 27. All of these cash envelopes I actually make. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it in my other video, but I do a lot of scrapbooking. And so I just have a whole stash of paper that I need to get rid of. And I figured why not make my own envelopes. Okay, Jim. Jim is getting $5. I don't have five. I need to pull from another section because I do need to break change. But in that case, I'll just go ahead and I'll just put a 10. I'll just put a 10. I'll have to move some money around. I wasn't able to get a bunch of small bills just because the line was super long, so I had to skip it and use the kiosk. All right, 2020 Kia, that is my husband's car payment, is getting $20. 20, 40, 50. 50. I help him with $50 and then he pays the remainder. Um, since it is his car, he kind of does most of the payments for that. Next up is rent. Rent is going to be getting $180. So let's do... Oh, I found the five. It's over here. Oh my gosh. All right, let me go back. What was it? I need to put five at the gym membership. Ah, such a dummy. I don't know why that $5 bill was there, but it was there. And so we'll just put it back. Okay, so we are at two, three. All right, sorry. We are adding a hundred and eighty. Let me just organize my bills. We have. 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510. Next up, we have car insurance. That is getting a total of $30. So we are adding a 10 and a 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, $120. dollars 
Next up is my 2009 Nissan Pathfinder that is getting $20. Totaling to $50, $70, $80, $90, $100. Dollars. This is for a loan for my car and I put $100 every month. So I'm almost done paying that off. University, I still owe a couple thousand dollars. Um, that one I'm kind of paying off slowly. I'm adding ten dollars to that one, but I'm paying it off slowly just because um, it's a loan that I borrowed from a family member and they're allowing me to pay it off slowly. So. All right, next up is our last category. This is going to be our sinking funds, and I do have a high priority and a low priority sinking fund. Um, and the way that I can tell them apart is I use a different paper collection for the high priority versus the low. So my high priority is going to be these really cute peekaboo style envelopes and then the rest are these cute moon ones. Okay, emergency is getting $10. dollars totaling to 20 there was already a 10 in there car registration is going to be getting five dollars and i don't have a five so it looks like i will be getting 10 and returning that i don't know why i had a brain fart i couldn't think but we added five so the total to 20 dollars Okay, next up is car maintenance. That is going to get zero dollars just because I don't have money to put it in there. <laughs> My car does need to get fixed though, but I just, I kind of prioritize on other stuff. Health and medical, I'm going to be putting $50. I do have a bill that I need to pay off this week, so I'll be transferring it later. But I have 50, 100, 120. I went to the dentist and I got my checkup and I haven't done that in maybe six years. Maricia and Hinata, those are my cats. I am adding $10 in here. Oops. So we're adding a 10. That is going to total to 10, 20, 30, $40. Yeah, my kitties are... I would say a year and a half old and I've had them ever since they were born. Their mom actually was giving birth right next to me while I was doing online courses and so I've I've had them since they were born. Plant care is getting zero dollars. Travel is going to be getting zero dollars as well. Let's move on to our last category. This is low priority. Crafting and hobbies is going to be getting $5. It's going to total to, I'm going to switch this out and add the 10. So it's going to get five, but in total it has $20. Clothing is going to be getting $5. Beauty is going to be getting $5 as well. So there's going to be a total of $20. Oh my god. My cats are behind my TV and they're moving stuff. I have to hurry up. I'm almost done. Tattoos and piercings is going to be getting $3. One, two, three. It's going to be a total of $8. Skating, this is my roller skating envelope. This is when I need to buy new wheels, new trucks, new laces, anything cute. I'm going to put zero, but I do want to build up on this one just because summer's coming. And it rains here a lot, so when the sun starts coming out, I'm going to do a lot more roller skating. Gift and holiday is going to get zero. My sister and I just had a, our, I have a twin sister, and me and her just had her birthday on Wednesday, so I was able to get her everything, ship her present over, because she's not living here in the same 
States. Um, Fun and Adventure is going to be getting nothing. And Home Decor is also going to get nothing. So that actually, that's going to complete our stuffing. And I did want to mention before I leave that I am going to be um, unstuffing this next week. I don't know if I did or not. Um, but if I did, I'm sorry. If I didn't, I'm going to be unstuffing this. And I'm excited because my trip is in two weeks. So I'm going to see my family. All right, guys. So that actually concludes the video. I am so excited to see you guys again. Um, I know I'm just new and I'm just starting out. But I have been budgeting for a couple years now. And it was my twin sister that actually pushed me to start filming my videos. So... I am super thankful for her and I know she's watching my videos and if she is watching this one, thank you, Christina. I can't wait to see you. Um, but anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.